Turn your iPods up to 11 because you're watching. 6. String Bliss, episode 240. Video response. And what an awesome episode, guys. Bliss stock sounded like a blast. I'm so jealous of all the fun everyone had. And the videos and pictures are great. So let's break it down. What guitar company would I invest in? Alright, well there wasn't a great deal of content in the episode because you guys were laughing and carrying on. Man, was I jealous. I really wish I was there. So let's get into it real quick because um, this video response is kind of late. So which guitar company would I back? Well, you guys have got some good arguments, but what would I put my money in? That's the question. Well, we've got Pipes' idea of making a guitar that is um, affordable. Uh, generally, Fender sort of types of guitars, like a Strats, you know. That's a great idea. However, Pipes... Um, your investors aren't going to be happy because they're not going to get much return, but 300 bucks is good. However, you can get a guitar like this. I've seen these at Sweetwater.com for $300. I paid, um, I'm going to pay for this thing, $600 here in Australia. And this is a really good guitar. Need a pick. So it's a really, really, really good, fast, nice guitar to get for $300. Um, it's made in it's Indonesia. And um, yeah, nice twin humbuckers, fixed bridge, volume tone. Uh, it's got a three-way select because I changed it. Only had a five-way switch on it. Um, Ibanez tuners are pretty good. They work. Nice, fast Ibanez neck. Uh, it's plastic binding, but there's still binding around there. Nice deep cutaway. It's actually, um, you can see there's sort of shaved away at the heel of the um, neck joint, so you can go right up to the 24th fret. Uh, plays like a dream. So that's why I'm not going to back uh, Pipes' idea. Sorry, dude. So, whose idea should I back? Well, PT's idea. I love the idea of having a um, horror theme, horror theme to guitars, I think that's great. However, um, with the licensing and that sort of thing, I mean, it's going to be very specific, very specific to a very specific market who will want these guitars. And, um, you know, all you really said that was special about them is the design, is the graphics, you know, I'm hoping they play well. I really am. And um, I think it's a really, really cool idea. You know, bring a theme into it. You know, theme guitars are great. You, know, you normally only see them as one-offs, but making a production of theme guitars is cool. But I'm not going to back you either. I'm going to put my money into Pappy's idea. I'm probably going to ask yourself, why on earth am I going to put my money into Pappy's idea? Expensive guitars. But that's what I like. I'm not into buying really uh, sort of beginner's guitars at, at all, like Pipes is into. I'm not really into it. A dedicated theme guitar. I like Pappy's idea. It's great and I love the idea of having something secret inside it. Chicken bones, you know, what do you say? Uh, somebody's old family member's jaw, brain, a couple of dead rats in there, a couple of bats, a couple of mummified bats, that's what you should put in there. Or a picture of the person as a young child who bought the guitar. I love that idea. I love the idea that you're going a little bit crazy with um all the configurations and that sort of thing, and they're high-end guitars. That's what I'm going to back. I'm going to put my money into that. And um, yeah, that was my that was my um, idea favorite idea. All and mainly because of that one thing, having the secret compartment in there. I, I don't know what it is, but I, you know I like it. Maybe I'll do that to my own guitars, but they'll know what's in there. I don't want to know what's in there. So um, yeah, I want to keep guessing and say that's the mojo that makes this guitar play and sound so well. So guys, yeah, Pappy, you got my money. Uh, what's next? Well, you guys sound like you're having an awesome time at Bliss Stock. I checked out the videos. It was really cool. It was really, really awesome to hear Steve Benford play the intro track and um, see Dave Max smiling ear to ear as he was playing. It was really, really cool uh, seeing everyone there. Looks like you guys had an awesome time. Um, hopefully, I can make it next time there. Congratulations to all the prize winners. That was my favorite part of the episode. And thanks to the hosts, the Cities. Who make this stock happen? Well, guys, thanks for checking out my video, and I'll catch you next time.